I had a degree in elementary education and a degree in special education. And then I went on to get my master's and my doctoral degree. And the thing that drove me in my degree programs was that I know we can do better in instruction, that I had learned so much in my master's and my doctoral degree programs in educational psychology and in special education about effective instruction, about effective teaching, about how human beings learn, how children learn. What drove me coming out of my doctoral program was the desire to, to make better instruction, to put together all of this knowledge that we had from cognitive theories and affective theories, humanism, behavioral theory, social cognitive theory, all these different theories. There was great overlap, in my opinion, across the theories and triangulation across the theories. And there was also something from every theory that was unique. So I set out as a naive beginning assistant professor to develop an instructional model for elementary school in particular that would bring together what we knew about good teaching and learning. And I didn't really have a focus. And I met Steve Graham. And Steve Graham had a focus. He was focused on writing. I was thinking about this instructional model for any complex learning area, math, reading. I really hadn't thought too much about writing. And there wasn't much research on writing at that time. I wasn't interested in reading, in part because there was so much on reading already. And I met Steve, and I became enchanted with the notion of writing and writing development, and SRSD for Writing was born. Recently, our team won an exemplary research award in uh, teacher education and teacher development for one of the professional development studies we did. I recently received an award that means a great deal to me. It's the Scribner Award from Division C of the American Educational Research Association. And the Scribner Award is for the development of instruction, instructional approaches that make a difference. And another award that's very important and near and dear to Steve and I is the Kaufman Hallahan Award from the Division for Research at the Council for Exceptional Children. And that award is based on the outcomes of SRSD instruction in special education settings or in regular classroom settings as what might be called a tier two intervention. We had a young girl who described herself as really hating writing when we began working with her class. And at the end, she said, I don't want writing time to end. If I could just make a clone of myself, I could write all day. And I just thought, the change in attitude, the change in belief about self it's not just the development of writing skills and strategies and abilities that will continue to mature and continue to become more sophisticated over age, over grades, over experiences, but it's that whole change in belief about themselves and what they're capable of that makes me really excited about SRSD.